just go, go let's, let's just la- look, look at this Akoli situation, right? Mm. Because that night's happened, yeah. Mm. And it, this, the one part that, and it was hard for me as a fan now, mm. because I've, I've sat down with you guys, yeah. And it looked like he didn't want the smoke. He looked mm. like he, the grabbing, the, I saw the grabbing as a negative because we panicky. didn't have that. The last time we had the grabbing was British beef. Really? The last time when it was there. Nah, it's been a couple of times, but it's... Not like that though. Not this one oh, was... Yeah, okay, okay. This one excessive. was like excessive. excessive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, and it was yeah. like, then what is it? Are you, is it because the... Was it where like at range, he didn't like what Billen was offering. He said, you know, I have to just stop him from doing his work because it was confusing. So... I haven't watched from it. your perspective. I haven't watched it back like that, but live, yeah. One thing I'll tell you is they were both holding, but the issue is with narratives and things like that. Yeah, Chris Lawrence managed. got the blame. He and managed. I'll tell you well. something else. True. Shane that. was so busy in that corner. Hats off to him. He done his work. What? The, the whole fight I could hear Shane on the ref. Chris is yes. holding Lawrence. Yes. Lawrence ref. Then the I ref saw that. To as Lawrence. Well. Good so work. I I'm saw like, that as well. what's, what's going on? He knows Lawrence. Chris is looking at the ref. Mm. Shane shouting at the ref. They played it. They played yeah. it so it's wonderfully. Like, it's like, don't get twisted. It was an. It was a. As, as um fans like just fight fans. Yeah. That couldn't have been a enjoyable watch. No, it wasn't. Stop. It wasn't. It must have been. But they've done a number on him. I do it agree with that must narrative have been, situation. It must have been horrible to watch. But mm. uh, Chris was involved in that. I tell you, live. I watched it. I watched it live. Chris was involved in that. Oh, I've Chris seen it. I know what you're talking about. I saw it. Rabbit punches. Like all yeah. of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, the yeah. thing with Lawrence, is Lawrence is, I'm never going to look at the ref to save me. So that, like Lawrence is always, like that's, Lawrence is, I'm never looking at the ref or anyone else to but, save me. In do the you reckon that's a thing disservice is, I he, thing is, I hear you saying that, yeah. So no, but, but in no, terms no, of. No, no, that's Lawrence. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm getting told to sit, sit down. Oh, yeah, I'm shouting. Yeah, yeah. Ref. Like, it's like, bruv. It's, it's back but, and forth. But the problem but, is, it's like when you look at the style that Lawrence employs in the ring, and oh, I hear what you say in terms of him not looking at the ref, but the clinching style is a, is a signal to the ref. Once we've locked in this clinch and we're not throwing punches, referee is going to do something. Mm-hmm. So in a way, there is a lot of communication with the ref anyway. Yeah, no, 100%. It's just that they took control of the... Of yeah, the, no, 100%. And to be fair, that's, again, Lawrence... If, since... The Glowacki fight when he won his world title. Yeah, he looked good in that fight. He looked, looked phenomenal. Wicked. Outboxed him, stopped him. That's how you win a world range. title. Fighting at range. That's range. That's how footwork. Yeah. Angle. Like it was it was amazing. And to win a world title like that, I was so proud of him because mm. it's like, well done. Do you get what I'm yeah, trying to say? Absolutely. But since then, so, like some of his fights, it's just been it hasn't been what's the word? Don't know the word I'm looking for. But what to get up? He for hasn't it. got it. Yeah, hasn't been ferocious. No, just watching it. Just mm. they're like, like he's winning. You know he's gonna win. Yeah. Sometimes if he, he might get disinterested in the fight. Mm. The guy's not going anywhere. You might see him hold mm. or whatever else. And it looked like from from the outside, mm-hmm. he's gotten away with it for a long time. Where you know, like in in my head, mm-hmm. I don't know about Lawrence's head. In my head, I'm not a cruiserweight that beats him. In my mm. head. Mm. Lawrence had gone into this fight injured, but it doesn't even matter. The mm. worst version of Lawrence beats all of these beat, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's in my head. So like, but the cruiserweight division's now getting tasty. It's though. changing. There it's, you go. It's, it's like and, it's warmed up. And man, man, man are locked in now as well. Yeah, like the other cruiserweights. That's right. Are like cool. Is it a thing here where it's like because I look at Lawrence and I think is he one of those guys that spars better than they fight? Because as a as someone who likes boxing and a sp- I, 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 yeah yeah well he's not no because there's he's had he's had show stopping performances in my opinion mm. Luke Watkins mm. punch perfect Glowacki punch Glowacki perfect. was my, one of my favorites he's had he's had a few of those performances then he's had some some decent stinkers. yeah then he's had some decent performances nothing yeah. to write home about a good yeah. then he's had yeah exactly good finishes exactly yeah, that's right then he's had some stinkers yeah. Mm. When Lawrence fights at a level that he respects or whatever, and his opponent does that as well, it gels well. But obviously, Chris's whole thing is get inside, get rough, get nasty. Because he knows All him. of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like... And he had Shane as well. He yeah, knows, yeah, yeah, He knows yeah. what you call it. So... <sighs> How do you see if the fight happens again, yeah? Because Billum said something. Get that quote as well, that Billum yeah, said. Yeah, j- just before we land on that, what, what does frustrate me about Akoli, yeah? He has all the attributes of fighters that I love to watch. Yeah. Tall, 
long yeah. rangey fighter, yeah. powerful. Yeah. Everything around that could be devastating and exciting to watch every single fight. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And he goes against every one of his own advantages yeah. mm. night after night. It's odd, isn't it? At it's times, like there's a know. mental block. Yeah. Do you know? I, I, do you know what it is? I don't know what it's like because see one thing with Lawrence is yeah, he's very aware of what's happening in the ring. So there's times I'm like, oh, why didn't you do that? He's like, oh, because boom, boom, boom. But because Lawrence is boxing on such a high frequency, yeah, he might not understand his opponent's not on that same frequency. He's overanalyzing. Yeah, things. so it's like, it's, yeah. You, it's this, but, it's this yeah. chess that every man's playing all of a sudden. Yeah, basically. At <laughs> there's times, a psychological part of this boxing times, thing that we won't ever get there. That's right. Yeah, that's at right. times, I'm it's like, it's not, it's not like, I, I, Lawrence's journey for me personally, I don't know how other people's families are, friends are, it's been actually so easy. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Mm. Like, as in just being his brother, going to his fights or whatever else, it's been easy from round one, winning, dominating. Mm. If it's messy, if it's not messy, I know Lawrence is winning this. Mm. Then Lawrence might get a knockout, he might drop him. Other people are watching them, man, get off the canvas, bloody dark, this, that, and the third. That's not been the story, in it? So it's been, we almost getting to a thing of a, Okay, this is what's gonna happen now. Invincibility. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That that's as like, and I've how always how you visualize. And it. personally, I've never always cared. I've never cared. But do you know when I first clocked, this is this is mad. Was when Lawrence spots Chamberlain. Shouts out Chamberlain. He had a good win on the really weekend. good win. I was happy for him. Mm. Yeah, same, same. One of his boys tried to DM me on because obviously I must have put up some banner. I'm not sure if you lot watched it. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, coming into the ring, yeah, and after I post, I videoed him saying Lawrence already watched that, but. Shout out Chamberlain, I think he's gonna win. Guy. Wow. For no for, reason. No, for banner. For banner. <laughs> yeah. But don't get twisted. You know what? I just like petty behavior for no reason. That's what it is. I actually like Chamberlain, but like let's not sit here and lie. After their fight, he done a lot of that's what I said to his boy. I was like, bro, after their fight, let's let's be let's be consistent. Chamberlain done loads of things, tweets, turning up to fights with pillows, all stuff like that. And, but don't get twisted. That's in the but past. Let's, but we have to be fair. Just if, if on, because I, I'll speak for him in this moment. Yeah. He didn't have the machine, the Eddie Hearn machine. No, I said so after the fight. So after the yeah, fight. Yeah, that's where the yeah, distra- but that's, where that's the when the happened. machine would help. That's rebuild. when the machine helped. So, no, to so, so, that, so my point is, yeah, my, what I was what I was getting at is Lawrence has not done anything since the fight to ever disrespect or discredit him. If Chamberlain won that fight, British beef. Yeah, British beef. The way it was going off. Yeah, memes. This that it would it would have been nasty. no. But what did, I get what you're saying, but what you're missing is Lawrence didn't have to speak because he's attached to the machine. No, but now, they, but they then the, the journey that Chamberlain's gone on. They were both no, but matching. Eddie, Eddie definitely. He like, had his one. He's yeah. like, no, I don't, don't get twisted. No, no, that's situation. why. That's why. Don't get twisted. Seeing the fight, seeing the emotions, and just also seeing their journeys definitely. One guy was into obscurity. He took, Channel I feel like route. he took he the, to go they blamed him for it. Like he got a lot of the blame no, for British No, no, no. So, so, so Lawrence talks, gets interests, fights anyone. Yeah. Chamberlain probably understood boxing more and understood we don't need to fight now. Mm. But Lawrence was more, you're chatting shit, or you're allowed to. Of course, do you mm. You're chatting shit, let's go now. No, Eddie, next. Mm. But obviously at the time it's more emotive and it's more like it's more personal. Yeah. Where Chamberlain for Chamberlain it was probably more business. Nah, let's build this. Because remember, he's in the gym with Dylan. So he yeah. saw Dylan uh, being no one. And AJ. He saw Dylan being no one. Yeah. Then headlining O2 against AJ, getting big Incredible big scenes. bucks. Yeah. So he's probably like, let's recreate that. Whereas we went on that because it's like, bruv, after every Lawrence fight, he's doing this, doing that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like if it was now, it's different because we understand. We stopped you from the point that you was making. Yeah, you're saying right. that you said something and then you've done your camera. Yeah. You've had your camera up when Chamberlain. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, but I don't know why I said that. But yeah, so I was I, I, I was saying from British beef times, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a football fan. I'm a Liverpool fan. Should be able to Sorry tell, about that. Should be able to tell from the aura. Winner. But, That's unfortunate. Hey! But <laughs> I wish I could bring my team into the mix. <laughs> I can't still. You just have to I hold cannot. it. I cannot. On the chin. But, on cool, the chin. So, so going off that, yeah, me and my ex... I went with my best friend and his baby mum. We went to watch Liverpool Tottenham Champions League final. We will watch it together. They're both Spurs fans. This guy just wants to talk about winning the Champions I'm League. Like, it's it's going it. somewhere. It's going somewhere. Cool. This, guy this point needs to land. This guy, to just flex, <laughs> this guy just flexing. This guy just flexing. right now. Stopping the plane is, in Monaco for my, no reason. My point is, it weren't, it weren't a great viewing. 
It wasn't a great Champions League final, but I, I lifted up my ex. I'm screaming, blah, blah, blah. My, 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 my friend, he, he, while, while I'm celebrating Origi's second goal, match lock off, I look around, my friend's gone missing. I'm like, right, I, I wanted to put missing posters, but no matter what, I was excited. I, was, mm-hmm. I didn't care, I was entertained, whatever. So as a football fan, bringing that into boxing, I'm thinking, right, everyone's back in Lawrence, everyone's back in Chamberlain, mm-hmm. bragging rights, this, that. Who cares how the fight went? All everyone cares about is the winner. No, everyone wants to be entertained. That's what I learned then and there. This oh, I see, I see, this, see, isn't, I see. this isn't football, this is boxing. Yeah, you might have like, I'm still rocking with Spence. I don't, that's me personally. But if you haven't really got an affinity to- You good. Yeah, personally, but it's still- That was, a, on, rough, that was a rough time for Hey, me. but still, mm. but if you ain't really got an affinity, <laughs> if you ain't got an affinity towards a boxer, like you're not locked in with them. Yeah, 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 that's true. You want to be entertained. I don't mm. care who wins. So now I need to ask you a real question. Yeah. So, so you said that it's been easy for a Coley mm. this whole way. Uh, no, for me. For, for you watching. watching yeah. Okay. yeah. Has the energy, have you seen a shift for you now that we as a family mm. or just things have to change? Because the brand is taking was, a hit. Cause, yes. Um, We've heard the names. There's, there's so much now that it's like, I don't know how he overcomes all of what, and even the, that's why the Chris Bill and Smith, Smith thing, because this is a narrative that's out there. And yeah. when I spoke let me, to you, let me said, hit this. boom, go on, drop it. So Bill and Smith was talking about his next fight. He goes, it'll be him talking about Akoli or Masternak, right? And he goes, the only reason it wouldn't be Lawrence is he, is his issues with the broadcasters not wanting to headline him for obvious reasons. I'm ready to go end of November. So now he's saying that Akoli's got issues, broadcasters. People don't want to show him on TV. Okay, well, I'll just tell you that's untrue. Obviously, Lawrence can talk for himself and what he's doing next or whatever, but that's untrue. Contractually, Chris is fighting Lawrence. That's, that's so that is untrue, isn't it? But- How does it look, by the way, if he loses you know to issue? his next fight, his next opponent? It's, it's likely though, cause it's Chris. If you watch Chris fight, every single fight he's in, he could potentially lose. It's just, he's never, that the reality is Lawrence versus Chris, it was never how good Chris was. It's all, what was wrong with Lawrence? Mm. What could, like, what that? Cause there's levels. No matter what Lawrence has demonstrated, Chris ain't on his level. In that fight, he didn't. But throughout the, both of their careers, it's been a, it's been an obvious demonstration. Chris is not on his level. Okay. That fight happened. Charge him. Let's have it right. He's fighting Masternak in a in a what a leisure center. That's never been Lawrence's story. So I don't know what he, that is. Never. Like, I don't, I, I don't I've, even I've know seen, the venue to just. <laughs> I've seen the way you kick that off is yeah, insane. Just, I know, no, no, for said, me personally, put away yeah, the badminton nets. Because you see one thing with Lawrence: is Lawrence mm. doesn't engage in so like Lawrence lives in the real world. Yeah, so I can follow Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence, you see this? Like, oh no, I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure you relax? He doesn't. I'm just like, how you letting my man? He's like, yeah, what? Like, that's, he lives so much in the real world. Yeah. Obviously, I'm on Twitter. I see what's saying on Twitter, Insta. Yeah, I'm like, you've got that connection. That's you right. care. You're That's right. so, so I see. So, but then when I see people like, like Chris, it's like Chris, you're a world champion. No one cares. No one's demanding you fight. People, everyone, and their uncle in the cruiserweight division would fight him next if they could. Yes. One and all, fifty. That's not the case for Lawrence. If Rat Paul could fight Chris next, he's fighting him next. Any cruiserweight is fighting him next. Lawrence was offered to several. It turned it down. You're fighting as a world champion in the leisure center with all this chat. What are you talking? That's not Lawrence's story. When so how does, comes back- so how, does, how does this happen then? He signed the rematch clause, activated it, right? So th- that's what I'm saying. So obviously there's Lawrence and Team McCauley war when Lawrence wants, because that's another thing, Lawrence. Lawrence actually doesn't, it, leave it to Lawrence. He won't address anything. He won't say anything. He won't. You're just gonna fight when mm. he fights critically. He's not even gonna explain anything mm. or say it because it's just Lawrence. A disservice, though. That's you what think I'm he's saying. Doing himself a dis- Boxers can't do this, bro. I can move the happens. conversation. AJ, AJ's think- guilty of this and he let the narrative you think run. I Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.